I also want to quickly mention that you introduced a new bass player for this record. So if you can't quickly introduce uh, Andrew. Uh, yeah, Andrew. Well, actually, Andrew was. Uh, I, uh, yeah. So it just so happened that Go me and Andrew. Go back to the Donnie story. Start with Donnie got busy with Riot. So yeah, Don yeah. Riot blew up, right? You know, and and yeah. and we we always want to see it. anytime anybody can advance up, man. It's like. You know more power to you. He he felt bad about it, you know, and I'm like, don't feel bad. Go on, do your thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Donnie's our brother. He, he will always be hey, our brother. Is he in Europe right now or Tokyo? Uh, Where is he? Yeah, 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 he's, he's in Japan. Japan. He's somewhere. in Japan. I was I was <laughs> messaging him last right night. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so when he had to, you know, bow out, um, you know, and we'd always had this thing where you know we'd had uh, you know people had to step in before, you know, like mm -hmm. Troy Dobler, you know, he's mm -hmm. he stepped in mm -hmm. and played. I've had to carry guitar duties on shows. Birds has had to carry because you know, somebody couldn't make it. Right. But uh, so it just so happened that me and Andrew um, were at the, uh, working together at that that the same place, and I just he, I didn't know who he was, and it was it was crazy because he's you know he's a younger guy. Yeah. But he, he you know he him and uh, what is his. Uh, Adrian, was it Adrian? They're, well, they, anyways, they, they grew up um, with, with Pitbull Daycare, you know, yeah. and oh, so going to Pitbull shows. yeah, and, yeah. and they, they were they since they were kids, and so I, we got I to talk. Andrew and, was in. You can edit this out. I thought he was in Brotherhood. Uh, yeah, he was in he Brotherhood. Was in brother he was in, he was in Brotherhood, brotherhood for a, yeah. for, for a, 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 a you know they they I had mean, different players. He's at very time. young, so he had yeah, to yeah. be just a fucking kid in Brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so you know he got uh, we got to talk and we got you know started hey we know the same people this that and the other and he started saying oh I play bass and everything and I'm like wow I went and checked him out with uh, uh, Danella Drive I was like oh dude you don't play bass. You kick that bass like that's like wow you know wow, I play you, bass you, hear, you know you hear his I've heard it I've heard it He's and solos I've that. heard it and I was very impressed with it so impressed that yesterday I messaged TC yeah. and I said okay I gotta get clarity on this and I messaged TC and I said who's playing bass on this record because I didn't know it was Andrew I thought maybe he you just guys just brought him in for shows I didn't know if TC did bass I, I didn't know so TC said no Andrew did the bass I'm like all right, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. He wanted to be here tonight. He couldn't make it, but you know, it's he. he I mean, he he was really instrumental in why this album sounds like it sounds. Yeah. I mean, his his bass playing uh, really added to a lot of what we did. A lot of the stuff that he did with shakes, uh, following the kick drum, putting melodies. You know, serpent. If you go to the 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 intermission, if you will say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on uh, serpent. Uh, I mean, what he's doing there on bass just complements everything that's going on. It was. It's awesome. I mean, he's not. He's and he's and he's good. He's a good human being. Good people. You know. Good his, people. His, his, fun, and just so you guys know, his sex change was successful. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. I'm happy. Can we call him? Yeah. Can he send pictures? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's yeah. too soon. He's yeah. got bandages. He did a good job. He's pretty beefy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> beefy good job. Guy. No, I'm just kidding. Everyone out there. Everyone out there. We are talking about the brand new Evil United record. Their third release, full release, already out September 14th. Be sure to go to your music streaming services and rock it or go buy it right now. Download it. It kicks ass. This record is out on Combat Records, David Ellison's Combat EMP label. So let's talk about that quickly. We talked about uh, Dave Ellison at the beginning of this interview because y'all were at a Megadeth show. So is that kind of how the relationship started with uh, Combat and Dave and them? No, not at all. Um, I don't think... Uh he had uh, bought the rights to combat yet. I don't know oh, okay. if he had been involved with his partner, Tom Hazert, yet. Um, I've known Tom Hazert a long time. He's A&R and helps manage EMP in combat. Uh, he's basically Ellison's partner in crime now. But I think 12 years ago, I don't know if they had been working together yet. I'm sure they had met in circles. Yeah. Um, no, this came about just over the past few years. You know, I saw that uh, the Hellstar record, Vampiro, was, yeah. was on uh, EMP. Yeah. And I was like, well, I was telling these guys, I know that dude. It's like, hey, I know that dude kind of thing, right? <laughs> so I just called Tom, and he was like, are you fucking kidding me? Of course. And what else you got? You know what I mean? So he's yeah. ready to just put out whatever. And he's a super swell guy, and uh, he just loves metal and wants to help out. You know, I really... Um, it would be nice to have, uh, a, dare I say, a, a, a big machine push the record. We're just happy that it came out because, like I keep saying, it, it, the curse has been lifted yeah. because there's a lot of, God, I don't want to get into detail, but yeah. 
there's a lot of heaviness uh, in our lives that we had to deal with, that everyone has to deal with. We're not sure, special, sure. that we're just life gets in the way. Yeah. And uh, I'm shocked that it's out. I can't believe it's it's like right yeah. fucking there. Yeah, and it really doesn't have anything to do with us as friends, because basically that's Evil United is guys who grew up on metal as kids. And we don't write music in a certain direction. We just write music that we like to play or would like to hear. And if I don't see Jay in five years, it's like it's yesterday. Yeah. You know, same thing with everybody in the band. Same thing with Donnie. If I run into Donnie next week, you know, I, you know, it'll be like no time has passed. And that's the way it is. And then so if something gets in the way, we don't break up the band over it. And we don't, uh, you know, we, we try to understand people's personal lives. Sure. And it, sure, that does take a little bit longer to put out albums. Sure. But that's okay, man. You know what I mean? It's still, it's, we're still making music and it'll still eventually get out. But, you know, the main thing is, man, your friends first and then your yeah. music comrades and then uh, everything else is just icing on the cake. And it turned out, you know, to be a really cool album. You know what I mean? That we're real super proud of. You know? There's a huge amount of mutual respect amongst uh, this band. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it, it. I couldn't. I can't really say it better than what these guys are kind of nodding towards. This is like a collective. It's like a family. Um, I was really bummed about Don not being able to be on the record. Yeah. I remember when we were writing material for this. I'm calling these guys, going. I think I called Don, and I was talking to Don. I'm like, "Did you write any of this shit?" And he's like, "Dude, none of my stuff got turned in." I'm too fucking busy. And I was like, yeah. that's when it finally hit me that Don couldn't be involved. And I was like, I was, I was really butthurt. And I didn't know what was going to go on. I, I think I went for about six weeks without knowing what was going on. And then I hear from JV and he's like, I got this guy, Andrew Salazar. And I, I was like, okay. We, we, yeah, we, we put together a jam. I, we've already played a couple shows. Yeah. and. And uh, I was blown away. Yeah. He's a fucking great bass player. So once again, I think that there's no reason to think about like, oh, this is our last one or, or are we going to do this again? It's like, of course we are. Who knows what's in store for, you know, what it's going to be Evil United. Um, and if so-and-so can't be there for it and we're ready to do it, it'll, but I think, Everything works out every time we decide to put something together. Everything works out, and I love it that that Don is doing really good with Riot, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, um, you know, and that Andrew was available. Yeah, yeah. And that uh, I I also kind of like being sort of an honorary member of San Antonio metal scene too. Of course you are. Because of course you are. well, because you know everybody's from San Antonio, and then I'm up the street. Right. And that, I don't know, that makes me feel kind of, I don't know, it's kind of cool, right? But, of course, of but course. I, feel, I feel like I, I live in North San Antonio. Of course yeah. you do. Yeah. Of course yeah. you do. And people, I just mentioned, you know, going to your online streaming services too, but Combat is releasing CDs, and then we have this beautiful, beautiful vinyl. It is a clear vinyl with aqua blue splatter. Yes. Be sure to look for it online. And uh, thank you, uh, the band, for bringing me a copy. I'm going to have you sign it uh, before you leave. And it says right here on the front, new album featuring Jason McMaster of X Watchtower and Dangerous Toys. Hmm. Okay, so let's move on. Um, you guys released a killer video uh, for Operation Overlord. I love it. Um, and thanks to our sister, Kim. Where is she at, Kim? Where are you at? Uh, from Video 77. We love her work. Uh, great video. Can we expect any more videos from the band maybe later uh, this year or next year? Uh, hopefully that falls in the category. Can we expect any more music or live shows? Yeah. If it, if it comes together and, and everything lines up with people's schedule, yeah, man. Yeah, we'll, you know, we'll probably shoot some more. Hopefully, you know, hopefully about, you know, at least one more video for this album, yeah. which I think it deserves. Uh, yeah. You know, but it, it is just a matter of, you know, everybody's schedule. Uh, everybody's got a lot of stuff going on. And I know everybody says that everybody has a lot. Of, everybody's yeah. lives have a lot of stuff going on. But, uh, but yeah, man, we try to we'd like to get at least uh, at least one more video to, yeah. get, uh, to get to get, you know, be able to get people to listen to a little bit more what's going on with this album. Because, you know, we are super proud of this album. And I think oh, it's I think it's worth be. listening to if you're 
if you're a fan of Slayer, if you're a fan of Iron Maiden, people are like, oh man, you got to be a thrash guy. You got to be a new wave of British heavy metal. You got to be a power metal guy. It's you got true. Dude, a lot of kids, dude, like me, dude, I listen to Iron Maiden. I and listen to Slayer. I listen yeah. to Sepultura. I listen to, you know, a lot of stuff. You yeah, know what I mean? Is. And so, yeah, if you're just a metal fan, I think you're going to dig. And we'd like, you know, a lot of people to, to hear it. And a good way to do that now with YouTube and stuff is video. So hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll rain. Uh, Kimmy in to do another video, yeah. hopefully. You know. what, what song would you like to do, TC? What song would you like to do the video for? Oh, man, either something super heavy like Spirit or maybe even Divide and Conquer. I mean, dude, uh, it's like, yeah, a lot of... Maybe just the the, uh, the title track, Serpent. Yeah. yeah. That's a, you know, that came out unbelievable to me. I mean, that's a... That's, that's probably my favorite song. Yeah. That, that, that mid-tempo heaviness, yeah. 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 That was, uh, that was that, so that song, it's funny how that song, I actually wrote that riff the main riff the sepultura riff as we like to call it long time ago and i incorporated a couple other riffs and then todd came in and he's like let's add this and let's add it. and jmat came in let's add this and then shakes is like hey let's go from four four to three four right here and you know andrew came in and it, so it was kind of it was a i don't want to be cheesy but it was a bohemian rhapsody kind yeah. of you know put together of a song that really that's not what, cheesy oh i mean i'm just saying i don't want to say yeah. you know yeah we're we're queen what it, no, but right the the chorus the <laughs> chorus though when I mean, when we we finally settled down on the chorus and j mac you know it, it, when it all came together it was just you know it, uh, it the, the, the thing i always tell people about evil united first of all um dave mclean was the actual the one that came up with the name evil united so really yeah that's a that's an interesting little thing that a lot of people don't know and so evil I united when i tell people what evil united is i always say you know when 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 in the old days and nowadays whenever they talk about metal and rock and roll what do, what do people say oh it's devil music right it's yeah. devil well you know and that could be any kind of rock any kind of metal so now we're we're looking at a group of us that came together from all different aspects of metal right you know i come right. from the, the the death metal side and, and then we got you know the new wave of british, british heavy metal you know whatever metal it was whatever rock it all came together and it's now evil the evil music united Got it. It could be called French United, but it just didn't sound metal. Yeah. Yeah. My mom would call it Evil United. Yeah. Yeah. She so, still does to this day. I think that also works with something I was saying a little while ago about how it's a collective. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like a tribe of sorts. And uh, we, we leave no man behind kind of thing. You hear that? I feel like I need to write that down. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a song. This is how we write. Yeah, yeah, pretty much is. So you know, it being like a sort of a, a band made up of, of people from your scene uh, together to just kind of do whatever feels right to them. Uh, at the same time, at the at, you know, foremostly writing songs that we love that we think you will. Yeah, because write, you're write, fans of metal too. Right. right. Yeah, we write right. for ourselves. I mean, for the most part, we write what what's going to make us happy, and we hope that in turn it makes other people happy. Yeah. You know. Uh, real quick, is that is that Morbid Tales from Celtic Frost right there? Like, yes, it is. Okay, I'll just. Yes, it is. Yeah, my vision. So yeah, I, you I saw like, that too. That's like <laughs> yeah. that's like that's like one of my all time favorite albums. So, anyways. Yeah, it was making me dance like a little girl yeah. over here too. Yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys did a couple of shows at the beginning of this month, right? Uh, no. Beginning? No, you didn't do them in the no. beginning of October. No. Or was that last year? We, we were going to. I think we, oh, okay. we were going to have a CD release, but we had some conflicts in scheduling, and we could we had to cancel it. So this is our world. So yeah, it's tough. I get it. It's I get tough. It. Yeah. I, you know, I was gonna say, you know, I don't hear about you guys playing out too too much. You know, you guys are doing sh some shows, and I I think I kind of like that be, that you don't overplay. Unicorn. Yeah, you know, because when you do play, then, oh, shit, it's, it's cool, and let's go see him. It's not going to happen anytime soon again. And when you have big names in the band like you guys, you know, it, it, it's a special thing. And I like to feel, you know, those butterflies when I know I'm going to go see a kick-ass show, not just something that somebody saw last week. So uh, along those lines, what's, what's, what do you guys anticipate for uh, the rest of this year? I mean, we're about to, you know, break into the middle of October. Uh, the holidays are uh, um, upon us. And if, if not anything for the fall, uh, what do you see or what would you like to happen for 2020? Well, what usually happens with the band is something like something comes up, like, you know, Jay calls up, like, hey, Fate's Warning wants to, wants to see if we can go out and do some Texas dates. Yeah. Then we'll try to make the stars line up and, and do it, you know what I mean? So, um, but, you know, one-off shows, 
you know, it's kind of hard unless the stars really line up with everybody's schedule. But, yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we really, really, everybody's biting out the teeth a little bit to get out and play the new to- the new songs. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully by the end of the year at the latest, if not around the first of the year, we'll, you'll see us popping up at least locally in Texas. I mean, yeah. at least doing some Austin shows and some San Antonio shows. I think we can, you know, pretty much pull off. You know, we're, to- we're more interested uh, in playing what I would call an event than a show for the hell of it. Right, right. But I'll play a show for the hell of it. Right. You want to play a show for the hell of it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, see what I mean? So we're ready to do that, you know, throw, throw a show together and promote it a little bit and have our friends come out and play new material. Yeah. But as a, as a group, uh, you know, ear to the rail, trying to figure out uh, who's coming through that we can try to jump, jump on yeah. and, uh, you know, just get m- more uh, more out of it than just hoping your friends come out. Right. Oh, I'll see them next time. Right. And like you said, that's can't see us next time because it's a unicorn. Right. Yeah. Hard to spot. Right. So it was like you know when we did when we played those dates with Saxon and Armor Saint. You know that was kind of that's kind of the stuff that you know yeah. we want to kind of do and um, you know where it's just there's three bands on the bill. And you know you play you know good good stage good you know just I was at everything. that show at the Vibes Event it, Center. You guys fucking tore it up. It, it, worked, it worked out well for us. I was there, yeah. man. I was watching. Yeah, it. I remember uh, at the, we played here in San Antonio. Biff came off and he said uh, he goes, I think that's the hottest show I've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was hot that night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was a good time. Gentlemen, what a what a what a distinct pleasure it's been to have you guys here. You know, I don't see you guys. Too often, um, but but as we end out uh, talking about Evil United and your brand new record, any last words, anything, anything that I missed that maybe we should have talked about? Mm. Well, I can start off and say that, Rob. I mean, dude, thank you so much for supporting the uh, metal scene and the San Antonio metal scene, especially. Uh, I moved back in the day, many many years ago. And it was, uh, I moved to Austin for a while, but then I ended up moving to San Antonio just because the radio station was playing heavy metal. I came in from a small town. They didn't play metal. There was no YouTube or anything like that. So someone who just can get the word out about our album, other people's metal albums out, yeah. just keeping the metal scene alive, man. I mean, that's really important. And you've been there the whole entire way. You're just not, you haven't hopped on it this last year. I mean, you've been doing it from the, from the get-go, and we appreciate that. And, yeah, man, we're hoping to, to, hoping to get back out and... and uh, continue writing music and playing shows and just yeah. you know hanging out with my buds and even united man for sure you That's know what, what life's I mean? about you know what i mean passion yeah man. how about you jason i don't think uh i don't think i can add any more to that just uh thanks for having us and your kindness we appreciate you yeah. ditto yeah thanks rob i really wow. appreciate you having us here and you know keep the metal alive man i mean metal is it's all encompassing man it's like just come as you are like i always say and it doesn't matter you know and that's what I love about San Antonio, our music scene. I know people say that it's not, you know, it's there's no music scene, this, that, and the other. Yeah. It's there still is. It just um, just needs a little uh, little boost here and there. Yeah. You know. I don't think San Antonio's ever lost its passion and love for for heavy music. I just think, you know, we, we're just a little bit more factioned off than we used to be. There, you know, people have their little ideals about what metal is and then they'll understand when they become veterans like us that it's all about the brotherhood and the passion and, and uh you know doing it for the right reasons it's not a competition it's not it's not it's not a competition not, not. no and you know i was telling chuck stanley tonight i was like man you got to come take some pictures brother because it ain't ever gonna go down like this again so thank you gentlemen Thank you. I, I respect and love each each one of you very much. Remember, everyone out there, thank you for tuning in this evening to the big program. You saw the band Evil United here talking about their latest called Serpent. It's out on Combat EMP. Be sure to look for it right now. As soon as you finish watching this interview, you saw the band only right here on Rob's Metal Works. Oh,